Hello, Miss Mixie Witches. Um, it's Tarot Tuesday, so I'm going to try my best to give you a little description of the lovers' cards and then my intuitive reading of them. Um, I have written, written down <laughs> what I have wanted to say. That way, it doesn't take up a lot of time and all that. Um. This is the Lover's Card from the Nicoletti Ciccoli deck. And this is the Lover's Card from the Tarot of the Northern Shadows. Um, I probably have gotten these names wrong before, but her name I, I really can't say very well. Um, and I am using my camera. I do not have a tripod, so please excuse the bouncing. And I have my little voodoo buddy with just to have a little something something to look at. Um, I have burned some incense, kind of cleared the space, so I'm ready to roll, I think. I hope. Not positive, but here we go. Um, again, it's the Lover's card. It's the sixth Arcanium card in the deck. The Zodiac Affinity is Gemini. Um, this card means so much more than a new love, harmony, and happiness. It also means that, um, uh, we are all separate individuals. We can be close sexually or emotionally. Sorry again for the bouncing, I'm trying to move a cord out of the way. Um, Now I got shadow. Alright, glare. And there, I think we go. Okay. Um, we can be close sexually or emotionally. It calls us to acknowledge each other's personal values or needs. Uh, in the you now position in a drawing, it is saying that your heart is ruling over your head. You want and I mean want to be in a love or in love and to escape doubts you may have to escape the fears and inhibitions of the world around you in the future position um, in a drawing it means a new romance may come into your life without you even looking for it Drawing this card implies it's time to make a relationship decision. Do you commit? Will your partner commit? Do you go your own ways? Also, in the future position, it means conflicts can be resolved, but can indicate a temptation will test the strength of your current relationship. This card can signify love triangles. Uh, you may have to choose between two people or you may be tempted to get involved with someone who is already in a long-term relationship. This card calls you to think about what you personally mean by love. It says to take responsibility for your own choices. Um, Love means different things to different people. Be more aware of who you are and what val values you place on love relationships. The lovers is completeness. Always seeking choice in love, overcoming temptations, and adhering to commitments. It makes you look at the power of love and how you deal with it. Asking you, what do you mean by the word love? What do you mean? What does it mean to you? It says to seek um, wholeness and being true to your values. Um, it shows sexual harmony. It's connected to made in heaven relationships and if that is even actually possible. It covers romantic desire and can point out if people are drawn to one another. It will throw you out um, 
whether you need to make a tough choice. Um, and it can help you gain more knowledge of right or wrong for you personally. It understands your want for union. Um, it says that when you draw this card, it says that um, you should listen to your heart's guidance and follow the path of love. This card can point to either sacred or profane love. It brings up moral choices and can direct you to your soulmate, which does not always mean a sexual relationship. This card's element is air. Um, it involves true love, infatuation, emotional involvement, compatibility, harmony, beauty. It helps you to appreciate beauty, understanding, and loyalty. You will be made to make a choice of wisdom over passion. You will have trials to overcome. You will be put to a test. You will be asked to examine yearnings and temptations. It also points to equality between the sexes. If this is drawn in reverse, as in the upside down position, um, means that there is disloyalty in someone or yourself. Um, you may part ways with a loved one. There's possibility of a divorce. It will be the end of a love affair. It may mean you are in an unsatisfactory relationship. You will feel emotional distress. You are incompatible with someone. Your love relationship is suffering from outside influences like your parents, family, friends, jobs, community. You will have sexual frustrations. Uh, they will be happening or will happen. And the relationship feels more like a vice rather than actual love. Um, that is what I have learned on these cards. Now intuitively reading these cards, say I drew them in a reading I was doing for you. I usually, I do not usually go by the book. I usually do intuitive, but sometimes I do go to the book if need to. Now, um, this one I find as different for a lover's card. Um, but you can see that she is holding on to her little snake here. She's showing a love. Apples mean purity, um, long life, spirituality. It shows that there is some darkness um, so that in your love life, if I was to draw this card, I would say you have some emotional upheavals, um, ups and downs, uh, but you're holding tight. You're in love with this person, um, so you should obviously stick with it. <laughs> she is growing. She is a plant, um, so that means growing, growth, uh, our love lives with all relationships grow. Um, might need a little trimming. See the trim there. A little trimming of, of emotion, of, of people sometimes. If they're toxic to your life, you may need to trim them out. Um, in the background, we see kind of a dusty desert. It's dry, but she's growing really well. So she's getting the water she needs because I can see grass around the edges here so growth is good in in this one um she seems content so i believe the emotions will go away and settle as will the dust back here dust off things um always make your relationship do things with your partner um go on dates romance each other don't just be stagnant 
um, throwing up of the apples, throwing up the fertility and and shaking things up a little bit um, as in a good way, not a bad way. Um, bringing more like date night or something. That's what I read in this card. In this card, um, it shows me uh, that the water, there is some turbulent falling um, emotion, um, but it comes clear. She seems to be either scared or ill, and he is helping her out, uh, showing his love, his caring, his tenderness, uh, supporting each other. The, the tree behind them is solid and standing. The relationship is solid. Um, or can be solid. You need to work on, excuse me, work on things in order to keep the stability going. A tree can fall at any time through a tornado, uh, uprooting. Um, so you need to take care that it doesn't do that. So if you are in a relationship or want to start a relationship, you need to um, bring about compassion and and help and. Uh, wanting to keep it stable. Um, they are both lying naked to each other, meaning they are not uh, lying to each other or deceiving each other. They are open, wide open to be seen. Um, and that's basically what I see in this card is support and care, love, taking care of each other. So, that is my intuitive reading of the Lover's Card. Please like, subscribe, comment, and join me in my next video. And um, I will see you then. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.